Hello and welcome, I'm Bert the Stormtrooper and today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles NECA Muckman and Eyeball Joe and I'm really looking forward to this guy. This is brand new and starting to hit store shelves right now as of the time of this recording and retails for approximately $30. So you can see here we've got the box which it's awesome because they made it look like one of those old VHS tape covers. Uh, back in the day, we would go to the grocery store or the video rental store, and we would rent episodes of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and they would have covers that look pretty much like this. I don't know if this is an exact cover or if this is just meant to look like a cover, but either way, it looks just like it. Even the NECA logo has been done in the style of the FHE, which is was the license holder who would uh, distribute those tapes back in the day. Absolutely awesome. You can see the four turtles up here. You can see uh, Muckman and Eyeball Joe right there. Going around the side, we've got the logo. Around the back, we've got, some, we've got a screenshot of an episode, and then we've also got some pictures of the actual figures within we've got a short bio right here it tells us that mutated by ooze former garbage man garson grunge and joe junkie became the world's smelliest sort of superheroes muckman and joe eyeball aren't here to clean up the town they will trash the foot and make a mess out of manhattan while doing it includes a trash can a backpack extra hands swappable mouth Rockalizer and a barrel of ooze accessories. Very, very cool. And then just going all the way around back to the front, this is a window box so you can open this up. And then you can see right here a very cool picture of the figure. You've got uh, Muckman, Eyeball Joe, and then Muckman is holding some ooze. And then right here we can see the actual figures themselves. We can see some of the accessories. We have a swapping mouthpiece, Eyeball Joe right up there. The uh, I guess this is that that what is that called again? It's the Rockalizer. I'm guessing that's the Rockalizer. And we've also got a can of ooze, which is super interesting. So that is about it for the packaging. Let's get this guy opened up and check it out. And here we have Muckman and Joe Eyeball out of the package and shown with everything that comes included. And I always like to start with these backgrounds because I just think they're so cool. I don't do photography, but if I did, I would be eating these things up because, uh, yeah, they look like backgrounds from the original cartoon. It's exactly what they look like. You got a little street scene right there. You got some rolling doors and a window. Um, and, um, yeah, so you can just use these for photography. You can also use these for display. They look like they're compatible. I'll bring in Mondo Geckos right here. They're very, very similar. So you can probably just put these side by side and just kind of keep growing a complete set of these and just kind of make yourself an entire diorama scene out of these, which is very, very cool. Moving on to the accessories, we've got here the Rockalizer. So this is going to be the weapon of choice for Muckman right there. And as you can see, very detailed and very true to the cartoon weapon. Very, very cool. A lot of very cool detail. Love the gray on gray with all the little red accents right there. You got a little control panel right up there. And what looks like some intakes, which is actually really, really neat. So there you go. There is the Rockalizer weapon. We've got an extra mouth. So you can see that Muckman has a closed mouth. You can actually swap it out for one of these, uh, for this open mouth right here. So let's give that a try. I haven't tried that out yet. So we'll try that out here for the first time on camera. I don't know how difficult or easy this is going to be. We're going to find out together. So it's really kind of in there, isn't it? Wow. I don't know if this is something that I want to do. Honestly, <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I like the closed mouth. Uh, okay, so that came out right there. There's the plug. There's the hole for his, for his mouth right there. And then you can just take this one and just pop it right in there. Now you got yourself an open mouth. You know what? I'm actually kind of glad I did that because I do kind of dig the open mouth. It reminds me of the original figure. So we're going to leave that one there. 
And then just so you can take a look at the closed mouth and see what that one looks like. This is the one he came packaged with. So there you go, there's the mouth right there. Now he does come with two sets of hands. So he can't, he's got two open hands, a left and a right, right here. And these are the hands that he actually was wearing or had installed on him out of the package. Uh, you saw me swap one out. He also has a set of closed hands so that he can hold accessories. So you can just swap them out. And I gave him this one so that he can hold his gun. So there's the hands right there. He's also got, now this is, <laughs> watch what happens here when I grab it. He's got the little trash can and then Joe Eyeball is going to fall. So here's a little trash can. This is where Joe Eyeball is going to ride along in. You can attach this to his back. I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. And it's just a little trash can for Joe Eyeball or Eyeball Joe uh, to ride along with. And then you've got Joe Eyeball himself, which is about two inches tall, uh, two and a half inches tall, actually. Very cool, very well detailed. Check it out. You've got the two eyeballs right there sticking way out. Now, he's supposed to have three eyeballs. Uh, at least the original figure had three eyeballs. I don't see the third eyeball anywhere. He's got his tail, he's got his legs, and he's got his little tentacles right there in his midsection. The head is on a ball joint, so you can move this thing around, up and down, side to side, that kind of stuff. And then the that's about it for articulation. That doesn't look like this moves. None of the... Let's see. Oh, his hands do move up and down. His hands are on pin joints. So you can rotate these. You can move them up and down, forwards and backwards. And that's it. That's about it for articulation. And I have been having a hard time getting him to stand up. Um, he just he just won't stand up straight for me. If I lean his head back, he'll stand. So that's something, I guess. Um, I've just been having to put him in the trash can to get him to stand straight. But there you go. There's uh, Eyeball Joe. Or Joe Eyeball. I, I, I always get it. It's one way or the other. I always get it. Uh, get it confused. So there you go. Now, Muckman himself. Here he is, standing approximately seven inches tall, and he is absolutely loaded with details. We'll bring him in close so you can see the head scope right there. Let me turn the light up. Check that out. He's got that banana peel right there on the top of his head. You got that bug. He always had that bug on the forehead, which always bothered me. And then they got the clothespin right there over his nose, and you just got a lot of just muck and goo and just crud coming out of his body uh then you've got you know there's a rotten hour and eaten apple core right there uh this could be a flower or a mushroom or something i i really don't even know yeah, it looks like a somebody's mirror coming in out of his midsection right there you've got a flower over here more muck and goo just kind of running off his body they did a really good job sculpting these details on him going all the way around you can see he just got that humpback right there with all that muck and goo just coming right out. You got his shredded uniform right there coming all the way down to the bottom. You can see this right foot right here, the right leg. Looks like it's been made out of a trash can right there. You've got some more canisters down in there. And then over here on this other foot, you've got another canister. You've got another trash can. And of course, you've got that sewer lid right there making the bottom of his foot really really nicely detailed there's a lot of cool detail and a lot to look at right here with this figure getting into articulation the head is on a ball joint up and down side to side inquisitive tilting the arms are on a pin joint so you can go in and out that far you can also go forward and backwards all the way around rotation at the bicep looks like we got a double hinge at the elbow right there and another pin hinge at the wrist so we can move it up and down and we can also rotate it you've got a ball joint in the midsection right there rotation at the uh at the waist the legs can go forwards backwards in and out rotation at the top no rotation at the thigh for this guy we got a double hinge at the knee right there and his feet are going to be interesting let's have a, so th let's look at this foot first he's got a pin hinge on his foot so you can go forward and backwards and you've got some rotation as well and then on this foot, let's see what we got here. So we got a forward and a backwards right there. And we also got a tilt rotation. Check that out. Wow. That's really cool. So you can actually get some wide stances out of this guy. That's actually really, really neat. All right. So let's get into the goopy stuff with him because we've got one more accessory to look at. So you noticed on the back right here, he's got this slot. And the, ca the, ga the garbage can has this tab right there. So this is just going to slot into his back just like that. And now Eyeball Joe is ready to ride and accompany Eyeball Joe, Joe Eyeball. I always get it backwards. But now he's ready to accompany Muckman on his adventures. I'm going to give him a nice 
open hand pose like this, and you'll see why in just a moment. Should we give him a weapon or no? Not yet. I think not yet. Yeah, that looks cool. That's that's exactly what I'm going for right there. Okay, so we're going to do that. Let's give him his weapon just so you can see how he holds it. Yeah, that looks good. And we're going to take these accessories, move these off to the side. Um, let's see. Do we want to do... Uh, before I get into this, let's do some comparisons. So let's put Muckman and Joe Eyeball right there. I really want to get him into a nice, cool pose, just like that. All right, so let's look at some comparisons. Here he is with his wave mate, Mondo Gecko. So you can see what these guys look like together and how they stack up. And Mondo just looks like he is on a binge. <laughs> he looks. I love that figure. He looks so, so cool. Here he is next to Neca's Donatello. So you can see what these guys look like together. And I love the size comparison. Here's the size difference here. This is exactly how big Muckman should be in comparison to the Turtles. He should be bigger than Poston like this. So that looks awesome. I absolutely love that. And then finally, one more comparison. Here he is with the original Muckman and Eyeball Joe. So you can see what these guys look like together. And of course, the original figures never looked exactly 100% like the cartoon. That's what NECA is going for here. They're going for 100% cartoon accuracy. And it's a really neat contrast to look at the original figures next to their cartoon counterparts. So you can see all the similarities and all the differences. Really, really cool stuff right there. Now, let's get into the ooey gooey of this review this is i am so excited about this next part so i really want to get him into kind of a almost like a toxic avenger kind of a pose right there there you go all right so we've got ourselves a canister of ooze that comes included with muckman this is wrapped in plastic you've got the uh let me see if i can get in close right here so we've got the uh trop tropotron labs compound x7 which is of course just ooze um now the unfortunate part about this is that the sticker is on the outside of the plastic wrapper right here so when i remove this wrapper that sticker is going to go away i am going to try to salvage that sticker um let's see if i can maybe cut this on the other side i'm hoping because what i think i want to try to do is i want to try and salvage that sticker and then see if I can just glue it back on to the can itself. So I don't want that sticker to get damaged. And then we're gonna get into some ooze fun right here. All right, I think I think I saved it. All right, cool. So what I'm gonna do then uh, is I'm gonna cut that, and just, just cut around that and then just glue that on here so that it's there. So we'll put that off to the side. And we're going to check out some ooze. So let's see what we've got here. Let's pop this open. And let's see what... Oh, this looks good. This looks really, really good. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, this is good stuff. It's nice. It's runny. It breaks apart. It doesn't stick. Yeah, this is really good. So I've been playing with some ooze for my slime pit. And also with the original Muckman. The original Muckman had a slime or ooze feature that I've been playing with and the slime that I have, it's really cool, it's really runny, but it's also, it sticks to everything. It sticks to my fingers, sticks to my surfaces, and I've I've actually like wiped away more, <laughs> I think, than I've played with. Uh, this, is, this is really nice. I like the consistency of this. It's really nice and runny. It stretches real nice. It splits though. I don't like that it's splitting the way that it's, I mean, for what we're gonna do with it here, I think it's going to work. Well, let's see. Yeah, it's, um, well, it's, it, maybe it's a little, it might, might, could use to be a little runnier than what it is. If, if I put it back in the can, maybe I can reconstitute it all into one piece here. So let's get our ooze right here. And I guess we do want to break it up. We're going to put some in this hand right here. And this is what I want. I want this to just really kind of just stretch out make it look like he's holding it and just kind of have it stretch out right there and then of course uh i don't think i'm going to do it for the purposes of this review but you could put some ooze in the can right there because joe eyeball should be sitting in ooze as well uh why don't we do this we'll just kind of have it spilled like that and there you go <laughs> that looks absolutely amazing right there 
And here we have one last look at Muckman and Joe Eyeball with their accessories and their slime and they're just ready to get into action and this is absolutely awesome. Again, I've said it before, I absolutely love the fact that NECA is starting to give us secondary characters to add to our Ninja Turtle shelf. It's really adding to the overall variety and the color of the shelf it just i am i am just eating it up neca please never stop keep giving us these secondary characters because i absolutely love them and i think that about does it for the neca muck everlasting set muck man and joe eyeball what did you think of this set let me know down in the comments give me some thumbs up subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified when i upload a new video i've got a donate button up there if you want to hit on that i certainly would appreciate it please share with your friends if you like what you see and i'll talk to you next time